And I already know this is gonna hit. She know what she doing, okay? welcome back to my channel so if you're a returning subscriber hey boo um if you're a new subscriber don't forget to make sure that you like comment and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so i'm just gonna jump right into it because i hate talking for too long so today we are gonna be testing out okay if you guys see lint falling it's literally lint coming off of my ring light it doesn't get used enough clearly because i'm inconsistent but um yeah i just wanted to show you guys <laughs> i'm getting so fat in the face oh my god okay so in today's video we are going to be doing the wear test between the laura mercier medium deep and the laura mercier honey so um i've seen a lot of reviews so far on the honey um, i've seen more so on like lighter complexions but i have seen a couple on darker complexions i want this to be super dark skin friendly but i also want this to be like just friendly for anybody who wants to try it out but um this is definitely dark skin friendly because as you guys can see i'm dark skin well duh so um i wanted to try this out because I wanted to see the difference between the two. I'm gonna show you guys the, the um, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like too before I even get into it. So this is medium deep, and as you guys can see, it's like a brownish almost. And this is how medium deep looks. I don't want to show you too much because I don't want it to fall, but this is medium deep, okay? And then I'm gonna show you guys honey. And I haven't opened honey yet, so this is my first time seeing it with you guys. So this is how honey looks. It's almost more so like a banana-ish color. It's like a buttery color. I feel like this is gonna play out good, but I just wanna be able to show you guys the difference as well too, um, just because I know a lot of the time people get setting powder, they don't really wanna look casket ready. Like me, I do not like getting setting powder that makes me look like a ghost, which is why I never, if you guys ever seen any of my makeup videos, which I only put up a couple, I never use like the white, translucent i don't care how bright it makes your skin look i refuse to use it it's not happening no you're not ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassed i refuse to use any type of like white translucent on my skin i'm really not going to show you guys as far as like what i'm doing to my skin wise this is simply for setting setting powder purposes um i will tell you guys the products that i'm using but yeah so i'm just going to basically do my face i'm gonna do my makeup like regular i'm just gonna uh speed that part up of me doing my makeup um i use the bobby brown foundation which you guys already know i am going to try out this new concealer that i got i brought two actually from beauty blender um one is in the color 440 deep neutral and the other one's in deep pecan which is 440 435 i wanted to try these because i had seen um style by jay marie try these out so i really wanted to try these out because it looks really good i love a creamy concealer so i wanted to try that out but yeah i'm just gonna do what i do normally i'm gonna speed this half up probably and then i'll come back once i start setting my face with the powder so let's get right into it
Okay guys, so I'm back. So I just finished concealing my face just now. So now I'm gonna get into the powder. I know some people usually like to contour and set their stuff like together, but that's just not me, boo. I contour last, um, don't argue with me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the, on this side, because if you guys didn't see while I was doing my makeup, I accidentally used the lighter shade the deep pecan i use that first on this side and i use the deep neutral on this side and i don't really think you could tell the difference so i don't know if you guys can tell but this side is definitely um this side is the pecan and then this side is basically the neutral so i don't know if you guys can tell the difference right now on camera i can't really tell the difference but hopefully when i finish my makeup you can tell the difference so like i said this is a translucent deep and like i showed you guys before it's like a brownish setting powder versus the honey which is like uh you know a more cakier butter um setting powder so i'm gonna go in with this i'm gonna go in with the medium deep first on this side because this side is apparently lighter as far as concealer wise even though you can't tell it's supposed to be a lighter concealer on this side so we're gonna try that first and i already know this is gonna hit because i mean it laura just always hits she, she knows what she's doing okay so i'm gonna go in and and I really like to bake, okay? Um, I like to just set my setting powder into my skin. And as you guys can see, like, I could literally pile this on and it'll be fine. Like, it'll literally be fine. So, that's the medium deep. I'm gonna try and turn so the light isn't, like, too blinding for you guys. So, that's the medium deep side. And now we're gonna go in with honey and go on the other side. This is another beauty blender, guys. Just so you know, I have like 20 of these. So we're gonna go in with honey now. Okay, and this just looks so buttery. So I'm just gonna go in with honey. I don't like this beauty blender right now. So this is another beauty blender. And I'm gonna do the side that I usually use. Okay. So, I guess I'll just do this up here. Whoa. Okay. So, this is the side with the medium deep, okay, and this is the side with honey. I'm going to brush all this off, obviously. I'm going to add some more, just, yeah, make sure she's all right, you know? So, she's all in there. She is all in there. So I am going to do my contour really quick so I don't start looking ashy. I really don't like to bake like I told you guys. So I'm just going to speed this up really quick and do my contour and then come back once I brush all the powder off.
Okay, so now that I finish my contour, I am going to brush the excess powder off. And like I said, this is medium. And now, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna wipe the honey off. And then I forgot to cut my contour, so I'm gonna do like I was doing before. I'm gonna cut my contour right here with the, with the medium deep. I know you guys couldn't even understand what the fuck I was just saying. And now I'm gonna go in with the honey again. So, this is what we got going on so far. Um. I can't really tell like a huge difference, but this side does look brighter to me. Am I bugging? Comment below and tell me if you guys can tell which side looks different to you. Um, my lights are super bright too, so I don't know if that's like throwing off anything, but honestly, I feel like the side is brighter. I feel like this side is a more neutral, neutral color, and this side is just giving more like, you know? I don't know how much you guys think i honestly i really like how like this is really like showing more of my um my concealer and being that i put a brighter concealer on this side i definitely really can't tell as far as how much brighter this is just because i feel like the the medium deep definitely neutralized that um i'm going to wipe this off what I definitely can say though about um, the honey is when it's on my skin, it kind of like, it, it does kind of look translucent like white. Like what I was talking about earlier that I don't like, but when it sets, it doesn't look white. And I just feel like the contour on this side is really showing more. You guys see that, right? Like you guys can see that shadow of my contour right here and then right here. You can't really. And I put the same amount of contour on each side. You could definitely tell. So what I'm gonna do now is set because I gotta set the face. I'm using I'm gonna use a mattifying um setting spray. And when I tell you this stuff mats your face, like it mats your face. So yeah, this is how the skin is looking right now. I'm really liking this honey, you know, for real. Cause like, let me bring y'all closer. Ooh, I did not brush all the setting powder off right here. Okay, so I need y'all to really see, like, can y'all tell the difference? Let me put it to a different angle. I feel like there's a difference. Especially because I use the setting powder on just my nose. Um, I didn't use the medium deep on just my nose and you could really see the like it looks like I had like I highlighted my nose too which I didn't yet okay so I'm gonna put some lashes on now and then I'll come back to show you guys the finishing look and then we can talk about the setting powder. so I'm back so we just finished this look um um I honestly like I feel like now that I'm seeing everything set in um, I don't know. And this eyelash is like crooked because I think I like cut off some of it. I don't know what happened. This is the side with the honey. And then this is the side with the medium deep. But yeah, so um, I feel like they both work the same. I feel like they definitely work the same. I don't feel like one is more matte than the other. I just feel like when it comes to application wise, 
this does show up on my skin more whitish than I think it would show up on someone who may be of a lighter skin complexion than me. But um, I definitely still am going to be using my medium deep. Um, this is like my holy grail. I just love this because you can't go wrong. So um, I definitely am always going to keep my medium deep on standby. I almost thought of mixing them, but I'm like, let me just do this the right way because I don't want to be messy. I want I want to show y'all the real tea. I wonder as far as lo like longevity, which one works better. I feel like they do probably have the same formula, but being that this is lighter, I just feel like something about it would make the longevity of this like way longer than the medium deep. I feel like the medium deep. If one thing I can say that's a con about this, it oils up pretty quick. Like you have to literally, like when I put this on, I know to bring my mini with me just in case so I could powder up in the bathroom because literally this oils up. I don't know what about it. I don't know if it's the ingredients in it, but my skin always seems to get oily still even when I apply this. It won't instantly happen, but it does happen. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to really say about them. I both, I think they're both good. Um, but as far as like picking either or, I wouldn't really say I would pick either or. I think I would use either one of them. Okay, guys, so I'm running out of storage, but I, I so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, don't forget to make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you can like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. I hope this video was super helpful for you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.